portion which is uh, asked in gate 2021 and this is asked in uh, set 2 and the question is related to operating systems uh, and the topic is process synchronization okay so consider the following consider the following multi-threaded consider the following multi-threaded code segment multi-threaded code segment in a mix of in a mix of C and pseudo code and C pseudo code invoked by invoked by two process two process P1 and P2 P1 and P2 and each of the process and each of the process spawns two threads two threads t1 and t2 t1 and t2 int x equal to 0 global log l1 global okay so in the main function create a thread create a thread to execute to execute foo function foo so thread t1 next uh, create a thread to execute for thread t2 wait for the two threads wait for the two threads to finish execution to finish execution print of x okay so now consider uh, function foo here so function foo corresponding code is like this int y is equal to 0 acquire l1 x equal to x plus 1 y is equal to y plus 1 release l1 print y okay and close the block like this
which of the following which of the following statements which of the following statements statement or statements is slash are correct option a both p1 and p2 both p1 and p2 will print both p1 and p2 will print the value of x as 2 option b at least of p1 and p2 will print the value of x the value of x as 4 value of x as 4 option c at least one of the threads will print will print the value of y the value of y as 2 option d both t1 and t2 both t1 and t2 in both the process in both the process will print the value of y the value of y as 1 as 1 okay so okay this is the given question okay this is a complete question okay so mainly from the given question you can understand here uh, there are two process p1 and p2 okay so and each of this process will be creating two threads t1 and t2 just like uh, here thread t1 and here thread t2 okay so now you can see this is global okay x equal to 0 is global and log l1 is global okay so in this main function after creating two threads uh, waiting for the two threads to finish execution okay because uh, the threads are created in order to execute function foo here okay and this is the code for function foo so what is done here y equal to 0 within this uh, function foo y value is initially 0 and we are acquiring log l1 and we are incrementing x by 1 and y by 1 and then releasing the log l1 okay then we are printing y yes just like this so now if you consider this uh, statements uh, both p1 and p2 will print the value of x as 2 okay so this is a false uh, statement because this need not be true always uh, as sometimes it can produce value of 4 yes or no so like uh, process p1 or process p2 can produce uh, any of the process can produce value as 4 why because uh, 
if you look at uh, the order okay suppose process p1 and process p2 are there and process p1 is executing transaction that is uh, thread t1 and then thread t2 okay similarly process p2 is executing thread t1 and thread t2 okay so once it prints uh, value of x uh, here also you will print value of x as 4 and here also value of x will be 4 okay so because uh, you can see uh, here it is incremented by 1 and there are two threads uh, two times it will be incremented and uh, again for uh, process p2 th two threads are there each of this thread is incrementing x value by 1 so overall you can see x equal to 4 is possible so option b is correct and then coming to option c at least one of the threads will print the value of y as 2 okay this is false why because uh, every thread is maintaining its own copy of the stack and also local variables because this value of y is defined within the function right and function calling a corresponding implementation is done with the help of a stack data structure. So every function call will have its own copy of uh, stack local variables. So this is wrong. Option C is incorrect. And then coming to option D, both T1 and T2 in both the process will print the value of Y as 1. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, you can see Y is equal to Y plus 1 is there. And you are clearly performing acquiring and releasing the lock after, okay, before and up, after uh, updating this value of y, which is uh, enclosed in a critical section. We can call it as uh, y equal to y plus 1 is clearly placed inside a critical section so that only one thread can operate inside it at a time. So you can see in both the process, we'll print the value of y as 1, okay. So option D is correct. Okay. Clear? So overall option B and option D are correct for this.